Greetings, friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sasha Vedic, and welcome. The question for today is, is the era of all-powerful central banks over? Well, central bank gaming of France is the source of instability, as well as many other central banks. The era of all-powerful central banks is over for a simple reason. They've failed. They've failed their citizens, their nations, and they've failed the world. Their policies have pushed wealth and income inequality to extremes that have destabilized the planet's social, political, economic, and environmental spheres. Well, as I have endeavored to explain for many years, this is the only possible outcome of central bank dominance. Well, central banks have a lot of political clout and do not accept their failure per se. They want more and more control. Do not think that they are all about to go away, dear friends. Consider the following from this past summer, this past summer that was in August of this 2022. The title says, e- uh, e- S- ECB says cash not fit for digital economy dismisses CBDC privacy concerns. And then it says, in the digital economy, cash is no longer a useful tool, and the central bank digital currency, CBDS, is the only solution to continue the existing monetary system, according to a new paper from European Central Bank. The Eurozone's central bank recently published a paper titled The Economics of Central Bank Digital Currency. Authors address, assessed the implications for the financial system and examined data privacy and digital payments. Researchers have concluded that uh, CBDC, like a digital euro, would be the only solution to facilitate a smooth continuation of the present monetary system, despite widespread concerns that CBDCs would limit the credit supply and function as a disruptive force in the financial markets. The paper rejected these concerns as being unfounded. Digital money is critical in a digital economy, the European Central Bank noted. Since cash is losing its appeal as efficient means of payment, a CBDC is a necessary tool to install. Although the search research identified drawbacks of institute, instituting a uniform digital monetary system, such as the sluggish pace of settlements, market developments and adoption, the paper noted that a digital update of cash is crucial to advancing the two-layer system of public and private money. Ultimately, Cash possesses large economic costs without clear benefits, so it is by constant construction not fit for the digital age. Digital money might generate privacy concerns, authors warned. The paper also rejected cryptocurrencies and stable coins, calling them a threat to monetary sovereignty. And uh, here are some excerpts from the European Central Bank paper. We argue that public digital money in form of a CBDC could replace banknotes as the monetary anchor of today's two-layer monetary system and help retaining monetary sovereignty if global stable coins became widely used. BitSale 2020 notes that in a negative interest rate environment, the demand for CBDC would be potentially unlimited if it were remunerated at a zero interest rate. At the same time, a CBDC carrying a negative interest rate might face adoption obstacles as users would perceive cash as a less costly means of payment. Since cash is only available in physical form, it is by construction not fit for the digital age. The European Central Bank wants to increase its influence and control of finance, brethren and friends. According to the Bible, Revelation 13, 1 through 18, a coming European beast, 666 power, will control buying and selling. You can notice a report about the digital euro from 11th of August 2020. New details emerge on how to limit CBDC holdings. The president of the Deutsche Bundesbank, Dr. Joachim Nigel, shared new details about plans for a digital euro during a July speech. While he covered the usual motivations and risks of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, he added some detail on how holdings of digital euros might be limited. In the past, there has been a reference to imposing a hard cap on holdings of around uh, 3,000 euros. And in a June speech, European Central Bank board member Fabio Panetta shared the current analysis of limiting the total digital euros to between 1 and 1.5 trillion, equivalent to 3,000 euros to 4,000 euros per person. Nigel confirmed that for individuals, there would likely be a hard 
cap limit. If someone sends you money that puts you over the limit, rejecting the payment would be very user-friendly. The coming 666 European Beast Power will take steps, dear friends, to shoot for eliminating 100% of cash if possible, as far as when, probably by 2028. And the currency could be in before, in place before the European beast power rises up. And yes, some type of central bank will be, however, involved. It may be a version of the euro, or it will be more of a global currency. Moves toward cashless was number 13 of 22 items to prophetically watch in 2022. We warned you at the beginning of this, car- of this calendar year. Now, please notice the following, uh, the following prophecy in the Bible, which is again in Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 through 18. It says, He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark of the name, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Friends, it will be a European power that will fulfill the above prophecy of 666. It will likely take computers aided with artificial intelligence to aid in the fulfillment of the scriptures in Revelation 13 that we have just read, as well as cyber spying or monitoring We do believe that cyber monitoring will be used by the European beast, who is also called the King of the North, or 666 power. We are seeing a move to digital electronic money. Knowledge of financial transactions is greatly increasing. And this type of financial surveillance could not have happened during the time of the Apostle John, as there was no real way to monitor many financial transactions then, despite the fact that preterists believe that this was fulfilled almost 2,000 years ago. However, the same was true for all the centuries that followed until the late 20th century, and now we are in the 21st century. But now not only does the technology exist to monitor most financial transactions, the political will is there as well. Furthermore, Europe is trying to set itself up as the sheriff of cryptocurrencies. In December 13th of the last year, uh, it was saying, let's tune into some surprisingly hands of regulatory proposals in the European Union in the crypto space. And Euro Intelligence wrote about surprising twists for crypto on December 3rd, 2021. Decentralized finance happens to be one of the few high-tech areas where the European Union is doing quite well. Last week, the Council adopted its position on proposed crypto market regulations for DeFi products. They're very industry-friendly. The proposed regulations are the most important to date for the European crypto industry because they establish rules for issuers, all the developers and companies behind tokens, as well as crypto asset services, services providers or exchanges and custodians. Happily for the European Union industry, the new regulations do not apply to non-fungible tokens, NFTS, nor do they apply to utility tokens, meaning any crypto asset that provides access to a good or service provided by the issuer. Crypto assets that are offered for free, airdrops are also exempt. Exempt crypto assets automatically created as a reward for maintaining the blockchain on which they operate are also unregulated and so on. So, but the, as you see, dear friends, we do have already in place the desire for the European Central Bank to be the monetary sheriff in the future. So, we see a claim that Europe will be the dominant force in cryptocurrency. Obviously, that is now their aspirations. And while 2022, the current year, will not see a cashless society and hasn't seen it so far, you can expect to see more movements toward monitorable payments. And we've seen those movements throughout this 2022. The fall of the US dollar and the trend towards digital money will concern many. The era of central banks is not over. contrary to what some people believe, because as far as Europe's digital plans go, back in January 2022, we uh, were part of, we're now producing this Bible News Prophecy program, we put out the following video on our Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel, and uh, the title of the video was EU to be Sheriff of Bitcoin and Digital Currencies. 
And we pose the questions, will Bitcoin remain unregulated? And then we responded, the European Union does not think it should be, and it released a paper titled Proposal for EU Regulation on Markets in Crypto Assets. Christine Lagarde, President of the European Central Bank, earlier endorsed EU regulation of crypto and digital currencies. A Belgian declared that the EU was the new sheriff in town to deal with the wild west of Bitcoin, blockchain and other cryptocurrencies. The European Union now also has the European Public Prosecutor's Office in operation mainly to deal with financial matters. Will the Europeans end up controlling buying and selling associated with 666 in Revelation 13? Is Europe taking preliminary steps to do so? Well, in this uh, program and that YouTube program, EU to be shared for Bitcoin and digital currencies, Dr. Bob Thiel addresses those issues. The European Public Prosecutor's Office officially started operations on 1st June 2021. So yes, there is an enforcer for 666 right now and already in place, friends. You need to know that. A few years back, uh, we heard news from Sweden and uh, Sweden basically almost became cashless a few years back. And uh, also, as uh, we produced a video and uh, uh, about these moves toward cashless society, also on our Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel, and it is entitled Sweden Going to 666 Cashlessness. Friends, the world in general, as well as Europe in particular, is moving more towards a cashless society. Yes, more digital currency use is coming. The Bible prophesies that totalitarian financial controls are coming to Europe because we just read that he causes both small and great, rich and poor, everyone, that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast, the number of his name. And we read what is the wisdom. The wisdom is that who has understanding to control the number of the beast and the number of a man and the beast and that is one and the same number and it is 666. So the type of controls prophesied back there in Revelation 13 were something that was not possible when Jesus had the Apostle John Pendy, that prophecy itself. But it is possible now with digital technology, dear friends. The first writing that have been found that suggests that a Roman or Roman Empire is 666 was by Irenaeus, who claimed to have listened to Polycarp when he, Irenaeus, was a young man. And Irenaeus wrote that the word Latinos, meaning uh, Latin men or Romans, is actually, when you compute those uh, the uh, values of those letters, add to 666. The ancient Roman Empire basically controlled Europe, and 666 is a European power. The New Testament was written in Greek, and John penned the book of Revelation on the Greek-speaking island of Patmos, and uh, they still speak Greek there. And anyway, if you add up the values of the Greek letters for the word Latinos, it brings us to 666. Because uh, Lambda is uh, value 30, A, Alpha is 1, T, Tau is 300, E, or Epsilon is 5, I, or Yota is 10, N, or Nu is 50, O, or Omicron is 7, and S or Sigma is 200. When you compute it all, well, you get 666. And what we have to notice, dear friends, is that we're seeing the resurrection of the Roman Empire right now here in Europe. It is the old Germano Vatican Corporation that has been in existence in the Middle Ages which, of course, supported and purported and um, revived the Roman Empire for about, uh, for about six times in the past, the last one being during the Second World War when Mussolini and his fascists uh, dreamt about uh, a great European, European, great European Roman Empire that ended in 1945, but nevertheless the forces of this world Germans, Vatican, and others have not given up. So we are seeing now the resurrection of the Roman Empire right there in Europe. Until next time, goodbye, friends.